And I wonder what your take is in terms of lithium outlook. Obviously, um, a lot of pressure uh, since mid-2022. What would be some of the recovery signals for lithium? I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with the types of chemistry that we're looking at. Are we moving into different types of technology? Uh, you know, and again, it's one of these sayings that we have in the commodity markets where the cure for high prices is high prices, right? And we've seen more supply coming on, people looking to change chemistry to move into other things to try and solve for that. And we've seen that in other markets as well. You know, cobalt was something that we were very concerned about. Are we going to have enough of that? Uh, and that's, again, something that we are now, you know, the market is, in a sense, solving for. Uh, so I think as we go forward, we'll see that. But in general, I think lithium remains very much in demand across a huge host of applications. And I think, again, if we start to see goods demand in general start to rebound, that may be one of the things that starts to pull on lithium. Because that's really where we've been you know, weak on the global economy, has been on the goods side, on the manufacturing side. Given the EV chasm, a lot of um, EV makers, automakers, have found this sweet spot, perhaps, uh, really in this a transition to EVs, and that is hybrid. Is there any particular metal that could benefit from that? I was reading about platinum. I think that's right. I think if you're looking at it as a hybrid, and I think you're right where we're seeing automakers, uh, in particular in the West and in particular in the U.S., really pivoting away from the pure battery electric vehicle um, push that they were on to moving back towards more hybrid models. Uh, and you can see, you know, they announced this by Ford, by GM, and others saying, look, we're really kind of pivoting back towards that. Uh, and if that is the case, then you do still have that gasoline component that is part of those engines. And as you say, then that is going to be one of the, the metals that then benefits from that uh, if that is now going back to that new strategy. So does that mean that you're bearish about cobalts and nickels because hybrid batteries are smaller than the batteries that go into EVs? I think that's, that's probably right. I think when we're looking at it, there's a lot of downward pressure uh, on both of those metals. Um, you know, again, because we've both seen a supply response, but then also change in the battery chemistry, as we were saying, people pivoting towards other technologies, uh, you know, and really trying to solve for, that, for those deficits that were, you know, looking to, uh, to emerge. Uh, and so as a result, I'd say, yeah, you see further downward pressure on both of those.